Points in blaming you, you did not know I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Just there, cause the flames will burn us. I thought you were the one for me.
points in blaming you you did not know My name is Enoch. I'm one of the newly added developers for the Academy Roleplay. This is just going to be another one of many streams that I'll be doing with you guys, but uh, these are going to be more of, um, I'll call them less fun and more of just informational. So the idea behind these is that I'm going to be giving you guys some information on how to do things within the server. You guys will be able to kind of ask questions in the chat and I'll be able to respond live and explain how different functions, different things work throughout the stream. Um, the goal of these are to try and show you guys different things, uh, things that you may not know or things that might be helpful to uh, your role play and playing in the server itself. So feel free to like, follow, share. You do not have to. Um, but again, this is more so just for you guys to learn and kind of get a feel for the server. So with that, we'll get right into it. All right, so first thing, once you load into the server, you're gonna click on 10.8. 10.8 allows you to get on. The next thing that you're going to do is, if you have not already created a character, you're gonna click on empty slot and click on register. Next, you're going to create your character. So I'm gonna create one and call them Tom Ranger. In the nationality, you want to make sure that you don't put anything that has uh, more than one or any spaces. So for this example, I'm just gonna put American. You can put dogs, you can put cats, whatever you want here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in a date. So I'm just going to pick a random date. It has to be at least 18 years or older. So make sure that you're putting that in there. And then I'm going to select my age or sorry, I'm going to select my, um, my sex. So male or female, I'm going to hit confirm. What is up Luke? What is up? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these great apartments. Picking your apartment is important as this is where you will uh, basically start out and there's lots of things that are around those areas. Uh, so you kind of have to pick your uh, loading place uh, wisely because you could run a lot or you could be not running a lot. 
What's the new goal you have set? I have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go to Tinsel Towers. Uh, no, we're, what are we going to do? We're going to do Fantastic Plaza. That's the one that I want. Yes. Fantastic Plaza. All right. Once there, you're going to create your character. So... Um, there's lots of options here. There's lots of things that you can and can't do. Um, so we're just going to kind of go through those. What? Unless value. Use this. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So first things first, uh, we're going to take off this belt because then it's going to look like we're a cop. We don't want to look like a cop. We want to look like ourselves. We're going to pick uh, some kind of top here. Pick one at random. Uh, not that one. Let's do that. That looks great. Looks great. Let's pick some shoes. The positives here is uh, if you don't pick the right shoes or you don't pick the right hair or whatever, we can change that later, which we're going to show you here in a minute. So, uh, once you've created your character the way that you think that you like them, you just click confirm down here in the bottom right. And now you're in your apartment. There are a few things to know about your apartment. The first is this little guy here is your logout. So you can do left alt. So if you hit left alt and then use your mouse, you can left click and log out of the character. That'll let you switch characters. Same thing for your open stash. Your stash is where you can hide things. Uh, so let's say you don't want things to go away or, or disappear uh, between restarts or things like that. You can put those into your stash and they will save there. I always have these random issues. Street says it's just me. I say it's street, but uh, that's the fun in this. So you'll notice that when you start out in the server, you're going to start out with an ID car and an ID card, a driver's license and a phone. Your phone is very important to you. Do not lose your phone as it keeps a lot about you uh, and it is very useful. Here I can set uh, or change into different outfits. If I had any, I don't right now. So I'm just going to save my first one as default. Again, you don't have to do this, but this is just one way of keeping your clothes. Every time that you buy or change clothes, they kind of pile up and you can just add them to that inventory. All right. So now that I want to leave my apartment, I just do the same thing. I click on left alt, hit leave apartment, and I have now officially left. Look at that. We already have some stuff going on downtown. All right, so with an economy server, the biggest thing that you want to remember to do is get food. Miss Muffet, thanks for the follow. At any time, if you guys have questions, feel free to throw them in. Uh, you will not throw me off. I will just continue uh, and I will answer your question as best as I can. Just a quick reminder, I will not be showing you where drug locations are or how to get drugs, um, but I can show you what drugs can do how they can help uh, those types of things. Uh, so uh, with this one, we just wanna make sure that we get food. That's our first step here. I'm actually going to get a car first. So the way and where you get your car is at Michael's or the car shop, whatever you wanna call it. It's this little blue car here. That's where we're gonna go first to get our car. In the last stream, you guys asked, how do I rob um, or how do I steal a car? Um, so the first thing is you can't just walk up to a car and break into it. You'll need um, a lock pick uh, to break into a stationary car. Now, if, an, if a civilian is in the car or an AI is in the car, you will need a gun to hold them at gunpoint so that they will get out of the car. There is a 50 or 30, 60 or 30, 70 chance the person will drive off or they will give you the keys and it will tell you either way. All right, so let's go ahead and get over here. The difference between this stream and the last stream is that I may or may not be in the live server. So <laughs> uh, keep that in mind. I'm going to have to try and stay a little bit uh, in the law. Uh, but I also need to do a few things that I want to actually be able to get her in. So uh, 
Wow, there are a lot of vehicles here. All right, so we're gonna purchase our first vehicle. We're gonna walk up to the vehicle. We do left alt again, so we're just gonna tap left alt, vehicle options. And then we're gonna have a few different options, right? So I can test drive it. it. Gives me 30 seconds to drive the vehicle. I can drive it around and then it'll bring me right back. I can buy the vehicle. I have to have 130,000, which I do not have. I can finance the vehicle, which requires me to have 10% down as the minimum or I can swap the vehicle. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to click on coops and I'm just going to pick a vehicle at random. So we're going to pick not these. Let's do uh, a sedan. I think are cheaper sedan. There we go. A Warner Warner looks great. We're going to buy that vehicle because we have $4,000. All right, we've got a Warner now and we are ready to go. All right, first order of business that we're going to uh, do is we're going to get food first and then we're going to go from there for all the other fun things. In this server, uh, you do not need to do anything in the MDT. Everything is done for you if you do it legally. So I bought the vehicle or I did certain thing. V-M-A-S-U-X-X-Y. Thanks for the follow. Again, you guys do not have to follow me, but it is very, very appreciated. Uh, if you guys do, I'm going to be doing a lot of streams. And I promise they won't all be as boring as these. But these are very informative. Or at least that's the idea. Uh, so what we're doing right now, we are getting food. Food is uh, one of the biggest things that you will need to do in the new server. Also, remember to lock your door. For most of you, that keybind is L. All of these keybinds can be reset if you go into your settings keybinds 5m and then change them through there i've already changed mine i set mine to the uh, number pad one because that is not set for anything else and i'm going to do a few things in the shop here so i'm going to buy water uh, so i can do five and then boop i'm going to buy coke coke helps relieve stress i'm going to buy twerks Twerks relieve stress. I'm going to buy Snickles. Snickles relieve stress. I'm going to buy a, a sandwich because it relieves stress as well. I'm going to buy rolling papers. That's for something later that I will show you. And then I'm going to buy bandages. Bandages will help when you're hurt, um, when you get hit by something, uh, but not necessarily get killed. You can re uh, reheal yourself through that. I'm not going to buy any alcohol right now because I don't want that to be on me. Doors locked, yay. Your vehicle can be lockpicked though, so if you did something wrong and forgot to lock it, or you did lock it and then you walked away from it for a while, someone can walk up to your vehicle and they can steal it. So while we're near the clothing shop, we're gonna go ahead and take care of uh, going in to change our clothes. It does not cost to change your clothes, so you can walk up to there and you can change your clothes at no additional cost. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to, uh, let's say I'm going to change my shirt. Let's pick something, pick something. Stripes. Stripes look great. Here we do a gray shirt. That looks great. Got a new shirt. I'm looking fresh. Not really. <laughs> All right. To pull up your phone again, it's just your M. M is in Michael key. Here you can do a lot of different things like view your vehicles. See if you have any mail. You can tweet. I can take a picture. I can put it on there. I can send advertisements. I can look at services and see who all is on duty. I can call them. They will call their phone number and they will pick up because they are the greatest people. This is not the way that you necessarily get a hold of 911. So if I needed to do a 911 call, I would just do slash 911 and that would go out. If I needed EMS, I would hit E and that will call EMS. 
or if I hit P, that will call police. Regardless of which of those you do, emergency services will respond and they will be there as long as they are online and on duty. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the haircut because that's next to the next thing that I wanna show you guys and some of the other cool features we didn't get to in the last video. I'm pretty sure, okay, I thought I was on the wrong side of the road. I'm not, that's good. <laughs> Feel free to ask questions, guys. This is for you guys. Uh, this is not really uh, for me, although I like talking. Um, make sure that you ask questions uh, so that we can uh, really enhance your role plays. is a little cool. No one has any questions? It's crazy. You guys are all been experts now. You've been in the server for a week now and you're feeling confident until I show you something that's gonna be fun. Maybe I'll like release one insider secret <laughs> each stream. <laughs> I can't do that. On our right, you're gonna see the U tool or the Mega Mall. That is gonna be something we're gonna go to next. That is where you're gonna get a lot of cool equipment, and I will show you that here. As soon as I get turned around, there's no cops, no cops, no stop. No cops, no stop. All right, my haircut's gonna be right here at the haircut. Always remember to lock your door. Nope. I got All right, let's say I want to get a haircut. Haircuts are cool. It also does your plastic surgery. So let's say that I want to change my nose width. I think my nose needs to be bigger or something. I don't know. Maybe the peak of it needs to be different. Maybe I need to change the width of it. Maybe I need to do some bone structure, some eyebrow height. Oh, I don't have any eyebrows. Maybe I should have some eyebrows. Let's do some twists. Get some jawbone changes in there. Let's do some eye openings. I want my eyes to be open. Do some bone width. Let's do some chin bone. I'm just going to make all kinds of different changes here. Uh, aging. Let's get some aging going there. I get a little older. Get some hair. You know, I like hair. We're going to change the color as well. That's looking good, looking good. Get some eyebrows on. We get some facial hair as well. Uh, no makeup, no blush. Don't need any of that. We're gonna hit confirm and my guy is looking even better now. Looking even better. Someone's doing their uh, delivery job. Props to those guys, $30 an hour. Don't forget once you're done with your delivery job that you take it back to the shop and get your pay slip and gets your money. That's how you get paid the big bucks. It's actually a pretty good, decent paying job. One of the good ones. All right, let's hop out. We're gonna go to the U-Tool. The U-Tool's gonna give us a lot of cool things, like lockpicks. Well, Ryan, what are lockpicks used for? That's my real name, I guess I shouldn't have said that. We'll say Enoch, because that's my name. Enoch, what are, what are those used for? I have no idea. That's a great question. Lockpicks are used to unlock vehicles, to unlock registers. Basically anything that has a lock, it can be lock picked in one way or another. We're also gonna look at a radio. Let's get that radio going. Um, we're gonna grab a firework just because. And we are good to go, we are good to go. There are other items in this shop that you cannot see that will show up based on your job. So as an LEO, as a mechanic, you'll get other options like tool chests, uh, tool kits, all kinds of really cool things. Each thing has, an, has a thing that it does and that it gives you the ability to do. I can open my hood a number of different ways. If I hit tab, it'll open the hood. I can put things in the back of the trunk. So let's say that I wanna put stuff in the back here. I just hit tab. Tab opens my inventory and I can throw things in here like my toolkit and my fireworks. Those are now in the back of the trunk. Keep in mind that no matter where the vehicle goes, those will be in there. Unless you put it in the garage, those items become perishable and they do not show back up after restart. So 
anything that is left outside of your inventory, if it's not in a stash, is considered gone. It's considered perishable. Okay, so I've changed my color of my hair. I've added hair. So let's see what happens next. Oh, I get pulled over, right? I get pulled over for something. Let's say that I was speeding and they impound my car. It does not go to the depot. So the depot is where cars go when you when your head pops or when you um, uh, leave your car somewhere and go find another one. So this is the depot. It's called Hayes Depot. That is not the impound. The impound, as it stands currently, is sitting at the behind the MRPD. So we're going to go there and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like while also keeping track of my gas gauge to make sure I don't run out of money. In order to pay for gas, you have to have cash. Now you might be wondering, how do you get cash? How many people are on this server? This server runs anywhere from 45 to 91 people. As it stands right now, they are sitting at 73. 73 people. Runaway has uh, been in one of the greatest communities I've been a part of, and then uh, uh, been in a lot of other communities I've been a part of, so he's a great guy. Uh, so this is kind of a tutorial for them, Runaway. They uh, just switched from ESX to QB Core, so they're learning a lot. So I'm kind of going through each individual thing and giving them a breakdown of how things work. Uh, I'm not telling them anything about drugs, so they don't know anything about drugs right now. Uh, and that will stay a secret for now. This is a whitelisted server, though. Um, the application is pretty extensive. It's not simple. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind. But you're a great guy. So we're going to pop over here to the impound. And I'm going to show you guys where that impound, what it looks like. I can use my minus sign or my equal sign to do my left or right um, signal indicators. I can't believe no one has questions. This is crazy to me. I feel like uh, not as many people are watching it as they were the other day. <laughs> right on red, it's all good. I can't remember what my guy's name is, Tom Ranger, I think. Oh, uh, we did add a few cool things that uh, are new to the server. Oh, it's locked. It's locked because it requires an LEO to let you in. Darn it. Well, let's say that an LEO comes over and they need my uh, ID card. I can show them my ID. Oh, we didn't add it into the... Dang it. I did dev the server. I helped with a guy named Street. Street is a really cool guy. Let's see if I can get street down here. Let's see if he'll answer his phone. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are you? Uh, services. Discord is the Academy Roleplay. It's a whitelisted Discord, so you don't actually get into it. Um, but you can go to this one. This is their, uh, like, hub where you can connect first. Uh, let's call him. Let's call him when you want. Call him when you need. Call him in the morning. I'll be on the way. Shepard, my man. How's it going? Detective Shepard. Detective Shepard, can I get you to MRPD or get one of your guys down here? I got the camera crew following me around. We're doing just a an overview of the city, and we need to show an impound lot. Sure, I'll come down there. Thank you, sir. All right, bye. 
<laughs> he hates me right now. <laughs> Um, so that's part of the chat. So it's not actually up. It's just part of the chat window There is a new feature that's coming out uh, where you'll actually just be showing an ID card It'll just pop up and then you'll hit backspace and it'll go away That'll be coming down the pipeline. I believe next restart We'll see. I'm gonna back up here though so that he can let me in beep beep He's coming in hot So it does require you to have an LEO to let your vehicle out. What happens is they have to actually open the menu to show you the vehicle. So it'll be back here in this back. Ah, crypto. Crypto is, is a beast of its own. It is built on the idea that there is a crashing and there are highs and lows. So um, on every tsunami, the, that crypto system resets. Um, but you could go anywhere from it being uh, up to one for one up to it being a hundred to one um, You also have the option of the cryptocurrency crashing So right now for every crypto dollar that you buy the value is 361 So if I were to buy let's say two shares, it's th it's 722 So you want to buy low you want to sell high it's literally like normal crypto. <laughs> ah, he's gonna be calling me from the phone. Yes, sir. I'm here. Where are you at? Uh, isn't it back here in the back? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to meet in the front. Oh, I can meet in the front. I'm back here. Okay. All right, bye. He hates me right now. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Here he is, the amazing shepherd. He's also the guy it's behind going, the scenes. Sir. It's going good. It's going good. What do you want to see? Uh, we're just uh, showing off the, the city here, and uh, we're just checking out the impound. So the impound is right here, I believe, isn't it? Over here? Yeah, I think it's here, isn't it? Uh, I think this is the secondary law enforcement garage. Really? Okay, so that uh, got changed. Okay. <laughs> the impound lot used to be right here. Is it in front now? I believe it is over on... Uh... Adams Apple Boulevard, three four. Oh, okay. Okay, so it really got changed. Yeah. All right, three nine four. Perfect. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Cool. I could be wrong though. Uh, well, I know that it requires one of you guys to even oh, see okay. the menu. I'm pretty sure I can't even see it. All right, he's gonna have some fun, and I'm gonna have some fun. We're gonna drive away. All right, so uh, you'll notice that I hit that menu there, that home button or your home button on your keyboard shows what you can and can't do next. So uh, looking at the menu right now, the jewelry robbery is set to cool down. Basically, that means that it's been robbed and it cannot be robbed for a certain amount of time. Pacific Bank is open for robbery. A bank robbery is open to be done and a store robbery is open to be done. So those are all things that can be done right now. Enoch is as Civ right now because he is showing off the world as QB Core. Those of you in another community and in the other communities are shocked right now because I don't ever play as Civ. I'm always an LEO. <laughs> we're gonna go right. And we're gonna show you some fun stuff here. That's the idea. So the next biggest question that everyone has is what do I do if I go to jail, right? How do I get out of jail? Well, the answer is very simple. I'm gonna show you. That's the best way to show you is to do it. So we're gonna go to jail. That's what we're gonna do. Someone's head popped. That's what happened there. 
Hopefully we're not gonna go to jail for real. Make sure you hit B, not put your seatbelt on. Always put safety first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real person to the left. <laughs> That's funny. Lots of head pops. We got a tow truck driver. Tow truck drivers are going to be taken over by San Andreas Department of Transportation. They're going to be showing up soon. They'll be in as a whitelisted service that you can apply for and uh, join. All kinds of fun there. So we're going to show you the jail side of things. Hopefully I'm not going to get pulled over for doing this. Okay. No one is there. So Earlier today I was playing on and uh, there were quite a few sheriff and troopers out here. So got to be careful what I do. It looks like there's a guy up here with flashing lights. Try and stay the speed limit. So you can hit Y. Y will do your cruise control. And then I can just kind of let it drive. It's a great time. Feel free to ask questions, guys. This is for you guys. Make sure that you uh, share it out for your friends, though, so that they can see and they can uh, learn all the fun things that you can do. Maybe we'll get into some bad things. This looks like this is an ambulance. It is definitely an ambulance. Wish I had flashy lights. Woohoo! Yeah, I know, Abernathy. It's weird. Nobody has any other questions? What graphics mode are you running? I am running better visuals. Better visuals. I'm using its light version or lowest setting because it gets pretty bright. Ooh. Earlier today, there was a sheriff guy that was sitting right here at this end. They were popping. They were popping today. There is an age restriction on the server. I believe this is a 16 or older, I think. Maybe it's 18 or older. I don't remember. 